Welcome back to the Tool World Podcast. I'm your host, David Jew, and I'm here with Master Jew. How's it going there, Mr. Jew? All right, this week we're going to look at some logos, right? And so logos are... Logos. The epitome of, like, a business. You should be able to know... The, who they are. Who they are without yeah. even <laughs> knowing the name when you see them. And some are more iconic than others. Right? Yeah, logos are um, really important as far as branding. I mean, you've got, like, the Apple logo. Mm -hmm. You've got the Nike logo. I guess the Nike logo is that swoosh, isn't it? Yes. That's their logo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, logos. They kind of represent who that company, really, or that organization. I don't know why I won't say that ITF is a company. Yeah. Well, let's just say it's an it's organization. An organization. <laughs> uh, but the ITF logo is undeniable for those that do ITF Taekwondo. That's right. It's very right. distinctive. When people see that, they go, oh, that's ITF. Right. Just like the WT, they, they have their own logo, and you go, oh, that's WT. You yeah. just know that. Right. Right. So it's kind of important. And um, so what's your question here, then, Mr. Well, G? Well, let's first go over the parts of the logo. At the beginning, you look at it, and you have the fist, right? And so what do we know about the fist? Yeah, well, the fist, some people say that it is actually General Chase Fist, and he is known for that. That's one of the things that he, I think he's really proud of. Mm -hmm. He's got very gnarly fist looking fist, right? Right. But as far as the logo's concerned, and according to J.C. Kim, who's created the logo, mm -hmm. there is an explanation to it uh, mm -hmm. as far as what it is. And mm -hmm. so the fist itself, as he says, represents the Indian Ocean. The symbol here, Te, to the right represents the Atlantic Ocean, and then the Quan on the other side of the fist represents the Pacific Ocean, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of like the whole world. Then you have the north and south sections of the ITF logo. Right. right? And what would that be? And so that is to represent the North Pole and the South Pole. So these half circles here mm -hmm. are representing the North Pole and the South Pole. Now, there, you'll notice that there's two lines there, or two half circles, I should say. Right. And so the other line or the other half circle would mm -hmm. be the Arctic and the Antarctic. Mm -hmm. So again, North Pole, South Pole. Mm -hmm. These extra lines here uh, represents longitude and latitude. And we see that always talking about that in some of the patterns, right? Right. Uh, where they're born and those kind of things. And so he kind of talks about that. Right. And then what else do we got? We've got... Um, well, you have the color the too. The color, blue. Yeah, mm -hmm. that signifies kind of like peace and harmony, mm -hmm. right? Right. And then there, if you look at it closely, it's not very distinct, but if you look at it closely, it's kind of, there's these kind of an S shape or kind of creating this yang yang kind of a dimension. Mm -hmm. And that actually is in the Korean flag. And so it represents the Korean flag. So basically saying Taekwondo. Korea, South Korea to be exact, actually, yeah. because that's not the North Korean. So it represents mm -hmm. the South Korean flag. Mm -hmm. I think that's quite interesting. Yeah. And then uh, obviously the letters around the circle there uh, represents kind of uh, the gears mm -hmm. as uh, we're working together, working together to create harmony. Okay. You know, a lot of times you have things change over time. Right. And you see that a lot with like, you know, company logos. They will change to be fresher within the world, right? And, you know, kind of the look that we are in now is more of like that minimalistic, you know, simple kind of design for a lot of these companies, right? Yeah, no, a good example for me. <laughs> yeah. We'll go back to Apple. Mm -hmm. If you look at the original logo that they had was uh, Orchards of Apples. Yeah. And uh, a guy sitting like Newton. Yeah eating an apple or the apple fell down. Mm -hmm. That was the original logo. And then they simplified it to this, just a basic apple with the little cutout. Mm -hmm. And I think the, um, the main idea between why they did make that change is because originally Apple, it was Apple computers. Mm -hmm. it, they were trying to represent that they it was founded like in Palo Alto and it was about computers. But then as Apple grew to a bigger company, they weren't just about computers, they were about something different, really. Mm -hmm. And so they changed the logo. Adidas, uh, very much the same, where they had the three leaf, mm -hmm. kind of looked like the marijuana leaf, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
with the three stripes across it, and then they kind of changed it to this triangle. But they still use both, you know. Right, right. I don't know. Well, I think the idea is that you want the logo to be very recognizable without saying a lot of words, too. Right. Right. And so right. to be able to use that logo in, on multiple things for a company, like using on like a shirt or a jacket, or somebody would be able to see it and then instantly know. And I think that's the kind of goal, right? Right. So now the ITF logo hasn't changed. Right. I guess you do see some variations, and we could talk about that too. Right. right? But should the logo change as well with time hmm. from an organization kind of standpoint? I, I kind of say yes, and I kind of say no. I think if the logo is working for that organization, then that's, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do have some changes to the logos. I mean, like you might have additions. Like if you look at the Olympic logos, those rings, mm -hmm. was there a different logo? I'm not sure, but, some, but you do change it in a way. Like if you see the, currently you'll see that logo with Paris, so that says it's in Paris. Yeah. But that is kind of changing the logo, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Slightly different. Not really in a lot of difference. If you change those rings, then it definitely is different. And those are, hmm, I don't know. When you make those changes, because so many organizations do have logos that kind of look ITF, but mm -hmm. it's different. Right. Right? And you can't say it's ITF because that's not their the logo. logo. <laughs> that's yeah, not yeah, the yeah, ITF yeah. logo. Right. So, yeah. So then what's your thoughts sometimes, and this might just be depending on the manufacturer that you have for your uniform. Oh, yeah. You know, they have the fist and it might be more like a cartoon looking <laughs> fist. And I'm not saying the different organization, I'm just saying the fist itself well, is not like as rounded as what you might see. Like here, this one's a little bit more rounded and more bubbly. So which one's the right one and which one's the incorrect one? Yeah, I've seen like a, a, low, a, a patch, I should say. Okay. Where they created the fist and you can see like a thumbnail oh it was okay. really weird it's like Ooh, yeah i didn't like that because it looked like a okay it was weird right right <laughs> it's like i don't like that look. yeah i don't like that patch fundamentally it looks the same and again i think that comes down to the artist that recreated it for the idea for that but really it's the same logo sometimes like this embroidery stuff it depends on the machine it just doesn't the artwork or their computer program or whatever probably not doing it correctly. Right, that's true too. And it was kind of interesting because the logo was designed back in 19, I think it was 1966. What's interesting is that um, back then there's no computers. Right. This has to be all hand drill, drawn. And the, the thing about that too is that if it's hand drawn, how do you really recreate it exactly? Mm. Right, I mean, right. if it's computer, that's an easy, copy and paste uh, it's over to the left side closest mm -hmm. to the heart and that's why it's over on the left side it's closer to the heart the okay. itf is closer to the heart. um our, our uniform here doesn't show the the national organization which could be on the right side mm -hmm. right so it's interesting because um in the when general che was around there's basically a national governing body and so that would be the, basically the country that represents the itf Mm -hmm. And that would be on the right side, but um, today we have multiple kind of organization representing the ITF, mm -hmm. so we don't see that as much. Mm -hmm. And you can though, US ITF, we belong to the US ITF, and that could go right there. Mm -hmm. And then on the left side would be your, the country flag, on the right side would be more like the school flag, or the school patch, or the school logo mm -hmm. okay. on that side. All right, well, thanks for jumping into another Tool World podcast. Let us know your guys' thoughts on the ITF logo, crest, or the patches on the crest. uniform. Yeah. And as always, don't forget to be safe. Keep training. We'll see you guys next time. Take one.